Hello and welcome. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about the new UI configuration enhancements in AOS Switch, which are IP client tracker. The, uh, the, we've added a disable timer for loop protection and a device identifier field for device profiles. And finally, we'll go over monitor only mode with AOS Switch. So here I have my switch already in my AOS Switch uh, UI group. So I go to my devices in my switches and as we can see here's all our groups our buckets that we can configure with so the first one we want to look at is the client IP tracker so we've added in the ability to turn on IP client tracker on our switches so you can enable it for all clients trusted clients or untrusted clients uh, you can also set a probe delay so client tracker if you're not familiar uh, that what that does it'll send out a probe or detect for any kind of traffic on the port and if there are any changes between the client MAC address and the IP address uh, it will track those changes and, and keep it keep track of in the uh, IP client tracker table uh, so what it can do is it sends out an ARP probe and we can delay that probe with the timer if, if we need to uh, if we need to adjust um, you know how long between ARP probes are sent out, uh, we can do that. So basically, it'll send out the probes either faster or slower and uh, automatically update the tracker, client tracker IP table as uh, if clients are moving around uh, changing IP addresses from their MAC address. So that's the first uh, little uh, enhancement here. Uh, the next one we can look at uh, from the interface and it's in the loop protection so if we have our AOS switch loop protection protocol that we have uh, we now have a disable timer that we can turn on and you can uh, edit the time in seconds down here so if we wanted a 10 second timer for a disable timer so if the ports gets disabled because of a loop we can uh, time it out set a timer so when that timer expires uh, the port will come back up and then we can save that if we have uh, loop protection turned on on the ports. And the third one is in uh, the device profile setting here. So now we have the device identifier. So if we plug in a Aruba AP or Aruba switch, or if we customize, we can customize our own uh, device identifier if we want to via LDP or LDP or CDP. Uh, we can create a device identifier so that the switch can identify the device and then apply the device profile uh, to that device. So by default, we have our uh, Aruba AP, uh, Aruba switch, uh, STS, WAN, CPE uh, device identifiers. And by default, we have the AOS profile, AP profile, default device profile, and default SCS, pro SCS profile. So those are the three new enhancements with uh, AOS Switch and the user interface uh, settings in Central 254. Finally, with AOS Switch, uh, we've added in the ability to do monitor only. So if we wanted to add a group, let's say we'll call it monitor only. We'll add in switches. Click Next. And then we have a monitoring only selection for AOS Switch. So we'll just say that's uh, AOS Switch only. And then we can go ahead and add that group. I already have it existing, so if I wanted to go check out the group, I could go there. And then all that's going to do is monitor any switches that are in here. You can't make any kind of configuration changes. If we had a device in here, there'd be no, no configuration changes. If you click on the exclamation point, it says it's a monitoring only group. Um, you'd have to configure on the switch, you'd have to configure the Aruba Central support mode, enable to enable uh, Aruba Central support, and then we could make configuration changes to that. All right, so that uh, about covers all of AOS Switch, all the new features with that. Thank you very much.